Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I um, wanted to do a little update on the Chirrut Imway staff, which you probably saw. Um, I mean, I'll link the videos to the original sculpt and the mold for, which I did uh, quite a while ago. It's got to be like a year, about a year ago. And um, it came out pretty good. I'm, I'm sort of mostly happy with it. It didn't come out perfect. Um, what had happened was, I will show you kind of the the first you know few pulls that came out of the mold um it was a gigantic well not gigantic but it was a, about a you know whatever it is it's like four and a half 53 and a half inch long um staff and it i made a two-part mold for it and um what had happened was when i was molding it was i think there was shrinkage of the silicone on one side and so it caused um a layer shift in, and so you can see the the seam line and so um, I wasn't super happy with the way that the uh, topper came out so you can see it's quite a big shift um, in the seam or sorry in the top of the staff so that's why I created um, a whole separate mold for the topper and molded that separately so what I did was when I cast the main part of the staff I um, embedded like an aluminum um, tube or mandrel all the way down. It was straight um, down to this point and then I basically bent it so that uh, in different sort of angles so that it would conform to to the staff. And then so what I did was I pulled uh, separate toppers and there's a separate video for that but here's one of the uh, toppers um, and I tried different paint finishes on it and whatnot and it came out pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out it's practically seamless um, this one's kind of got more of like a brushed uh, metal look to it uh, but I also did kind of like this nice you know sort of polished uh, chromey metallic look as well too um, and for that for both of these I used um, Alclad Alclad 2 chrome I think this one I used an aluminum finish and then I did some scotch Bright pad sort of scuffing on it to give it that look I didn't put any black weathering on this one just yet and then this one over here was just um, after it came out of the mold I primed it um, painted it with black uh, gloss and then um, applied the Alclad clear uh, or sorry Alclad 2 chrome with an airbrush and the results are just awesome like I get so many compliments uh, on this you know people are like oh my god is that metal or is that machined aluminum and I'm like nope it's totally just cast resin so um, something neat was I actually uh, for this topper it's got a, um, a three-quarter inch I think uh, hole sort of that I've uh, done uh, drilled through and then there's about I don't know like a two inch um, of the aluminum from the inner core the mandrel poking out and then instead of gluing it on I actually use tiny little set screws in here that kind of go through the casting and then go all the way in to the to the aluminum so there's no way sort of mechanically or physically it would ever come out so anyways that topper part turned out really nice um, to deal with sort of the middle shift uh, on this particular staff I just kind of faked it I covered it actually with an aluminum uh, uh, sort of a brushed aluminum foil tape and then after I did the weathering and stuff it looks fine but um, it's not perfect by any means it's got a couple of you know you, the, the seam lines a little bit big on it um, I've been using that one with my costume so far um, another thing that I did was of course the weathering so this is kind of like a um, you know sort of like a first pass of the staff I sort of did some um, acrylic washes with I'll bring it over here in the shade the Sun's kind of messing with the focus but you can kind of see um, different shades of, of brown um, what do you call it burnt umber and raw sienna and some black um, just sort of sponged on or brushed on and then it turned out quite nice so I did the same for my sort of final um, kind of trooping staff that I used with the costume which is this one over here again I'll bring it over in the shade and it's kind of got that nice um, warm tint to it, right? So um, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It's the one that I've been using for events and things like that. Um, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I would very much like to update it. And by that, I mean um, I would actually be casting the bottom part of the staff with the aluminum core through it. And then the middle grip um, 
and the upper part would be separate castings that I would slide on on top that could be glued down. Um, that way it would just get rid of any sort of like seam lines and then I would use my mold for my topper. So that's probably what I'm going to do eventually when I have tons of spare time, which I don't have right now, but uh, I'll get to it eventually. But anyways, I thought you would enjoy that, kind of just an update on the staff. And um, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.